Good evening, everyone, and welcome to a little bit of a bonus vlog. We bonus are, vlog. Uh, yeah, we're heading out tonight for a hot dog, a nice, easy, quick, quick fast. and easy, simple, no problem. No challenge this wrong. time, though. Not a mega hot one. Just a nice, easy hot dog. But easy going. To, there's nothing going on here. It's got to be a nice, easy hot dog. It's one of Mum's favourite little dinners. This nice, easy, quick hot dog, and they were lovely last time. And then we're going to go and find somewhere to watch the game, and we'll yeah. film a bit of the atmosphere over here. It's England versus Wales tonight. Just missed a lovely sunset. The sky is still ago. absolutely stunning there. We're thinking yeah. this ferry might be broken down because it's been there for about an hour. Yeah. And it's just not much happening, but we'll see. But yeah, we're going to head on out now and uh, enjoy a hot dog and a drive and park in Lost Chris. Okay. And then wander into the uh, hot dog. Maybe have a beer place. in one of my old haunts from years ago with the, the boys. The fountain bar. The fountain bar. And here's oh, my oh, lovely here's wife. Strider, no, this? you're not. <laughs> Mum says no. Just hot dogs tonight, then, is it, Mum? It's only earache from one lady tonight, not, the, not oh. my daughter. Oh, hey. I can have a drink in the fountain. Actually, tonight I might stay out. Mum's getting hammered. Mum's having a hot dog and getting bevy. Mum has been I've here been, 10 days. And I've been home every night by 8 o'clock. Exactly. I've, I've, I've been to allowed to go for a, a sneaky bit of me time on the bank. Lydia, bless her, has been in with Jude, helped out and not been out at all, have you? I'm the healthier one then, aren't I? Indeed. indeed. Right, well, let's get down and have a hot dog to start with. Then we can sort where we're ailing and watching the football. Right. I'm only having a Diet Coke. <laughs> well, it's been a mad busy day, but I'm looking forward to heading out. Simple dinner tonight. And, of course, making more memories with Mum and Dad. It's their uh, first night without Sarah, Scott and Jude, which will be a bit different. We are looking forward to a nice simple dinner, watch a bit of football, we'll find out what bar we're going to end up in, probably somewhere up this end of Lost Chris. We are looking forward to it tonight. So just to show you as well, just got in the car, that wheel dropped slightly as we move, but 25 and a half degrees at 20 past six. It is still crazy hot here in the Canaries. Here we are, we've just parked in the harbour, we've got the Fred Olsen over there and we're going to wander into town now and go to our favourite hot dog place which is near the fountain bar right in the middle of town, we'll show you where it is but well, that sky was gorgeous, it's sort of finished off now but the sky was stunning wasn't it? it was the sunset is really nice when you get a bit of cloud around so don't uh, think you're not going to get a nice sunset because sometimes the clouds actually make the sunset I think It was a little bit weird for the last hour or so yeah, the, the weather went a bit funny. Wind came in and yeah. it was a little bit chilly and then you got those fabulous clouds coming over to illuminate the sun. So hopefully tomorrow all this cloud will move away. It should be another sunny day tomorrow. We can't beat the atmosphere of Los Cristianos town of an evening. Just reminds me of coming over on holiday yeah. as a kid. <laughs> yeah. And look at the nice Christmas. You have not seen the Christmas lights yet, no, Dad. You can no. see the nice tree is the feature yeah. this year. Oh, it was a... Yeah, the centre of town with the church square is amazing. But we had a Christmas tree parcel last time. But it's a tree this year. Which oh, uh, looks right. absolutely yeah, stunning. That. That yeah. It was a parcel last year, but I prefer the tree, I think, this year. We'll show you that in a bit. Think of the lights so far then you've only seen them a little bit fantastic i've just said though haven't i don't like it when they flash i like no. them to twinkle or stay on but lydia and i have got a tree in our front garden an indian bean tree yeah it's all its leaves now and i'd love it you'll like have that. to wrap them up like that it takes a long time for the council to do every branch well, like that I know. Scott, Scott did uh, a tree in the front of sarah's really good yeah uh, and he's left really them on nice. hasn't he and he leaves them 
So if you leave them on, it saves time, but then the the lights only last about half the time they should, really. They look fab. They do look good, and in town, looks even better. And I'll, I'll forgive them for the twinkling. They're not flashing. They're only twinkling these. This was flashing a minute ago because of the camera, but they do only twinkle a little bit. We'll show you a little bit closer up in a moment. I remember a lot as a kid going into there, getting a bag of sweets while Dad was drinking in the fountain. That would be the norm. And just here on the right used to be an internet cafe. So mum and dad would drink in the fountain bar, we'd get sweets and then go in the internet cafe and, and chat just... to our friends on MSN. Ah, and I'd send you with pesetas. It was yeah. with pesetas, I think. No, it wasn't pesetas then. It's always been euros for us. Maybe for Catherine and Sarah. Maybe. Know, maybe. It was always euros for me. Anyway, it meant an hour's peace for mum and I. Yeah. We'd have a drink and you don't have sweets and internet. Nice. The best one ever was when they had the trampolines. Oh, the trampolines. Trampolines yeah. further down, they've all gone now. We ate many a time in there as yeah. well. I can never get saved in Miramar yeah. when I try. So you'd come back with your shoes ready to go. Do you want another go? Yeah, go on. Go on, go on, yeah. go on. There's another two euros. Bye. <laughs> and then, do, do the uh, subscribers remember Chicago's bar? Uh, we'll see, let me know in the comments, the Chicago's. Is that where Harry's place is now? No, it was below yeah, Harry's. Below Harry's, wasn't it? Chicago's, yeah. who remembers Chicago's bar? Let us yeah. know. We're heading now to Mad Dog, which does seem to be open, and we'll show you what's going on with the hot dogs in here. Here we go then, here's our hot dog experience, Mad Dog. We do love it in here. Fresh made hot dogs right on the grill there. And we can enjoy, you've done the hot dog challenge in here, which I'll leave the link to in the description. <laughs> You had the hottest hot dog in the world. Dad did this as a challenge on a live stream, so I will link that in the description. But today, it's just normal it's hot dogs. Just a lovely hot dog. Nothing yep. Special, nothing really hot. Just a nice, easy hot dog. You've got all different choices up here. You've got the German special, all kinds. New York's the one Dad likes. Okay, so here's mum's fried onion hot dog there. Dad's got his New Yorker, look at the bacon on top of that. Looks amazing. And here's mine with the cheese on. Absolutely delicious. Perfect. And then you do get your chips as well. So you can have Parmesan on them there. Look absolutely delicious. Well, how was it? You've had a first bite, no extreme heat. Just a nice heaven. With your Moretti to wash it down. Gotta say, mine's absolutely delicious. I've had a bite I've, already. I've written to Everton FC. Right. And said, why can't I have one of these at half time? Nice. You don't fancy a rollover. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so simple, but so nice. Every single one of us has woofed that. It was delicious. And I'm not gonna lie, I've ordered another one. <laughs> I've ordered a second one, it was gorgeous. <laughs> I haven't eaten much today. It's just so simple, but nice. And it's so like, all their bangs, there you go. But delicious. Yeah, it's a proper hot dog as well. Yeah, good. Well, spot on, spot on. Do enjoy it in here, it's dead simple. Right next to the fountain bar. Football's just starting, so we're gonna catch the second half. And then we'll have a little wander around the lights and sweet shop and stuff. Well, that was gorgeous, love that. I, I didn't expect to. That was absolutely delicious, woofed it. Well, thoughts? Gorgeous. Yeah. Fried onions, not very often you get fried onions these days, it's crispy. Yeah, on the top. fried onions. Fried onions. And your Moretti, onions. nice. Moretti's nice. It's nice and chilled in here. We've got Bob Marley on the uh, old uh, music there. That's nice. Chilled, that was delicious, that. Really hit the spot. The ladies just informed us there is a new chilli sauce that is worse than this one. Worse, you say? Yeah? Mega hot. Let me know in the comments if you think we should bring Mick back and do the one that's worse. How can it possibly be worse? Just even stronger, yeah? Oh, 
Wow, I think. <laughs> Even spicier, we're gonna have to do it, I reckon. Oh no, it's gotta be covered in it. If you're doing it, you've gotta do the full Monty. <laughs> Well, let me know in the comments, guys. Should we bring him back? I'm getting to do the even hotter one. Oh, there you go. You eat in five minutes. You don't have to pay. Uh, I think we should bring you back. Let me know in the comments, everyone. Remember, it's not the five minutes you'd spend eating it. It's the five hours the next day paying for it. Well, no, that was absolutely delicious. Definitely recommend a visit to Mad Dog. Thank you very much. We'll see you again. Thank you. So we're, uh, we're gonna go for a little bit of a walk now. Oh, so hot dog's all done. We're now gonna head to the sweet shop that mum loves and show her the lights at the church square. Here's the tree. You can actually see this on the Los Cristianos webcam, which is somewhere up there and looks down. You see everyone getting their pictures. What do you think? Like it? I love it. Just twinkles. Twinkles is great. Flashing is bad. Yeah, just twinkles away. And then all these lights going up the street are stunning all the way up to the church square. So we'll carry on up and show you the main feature, which is the church square. we get up to the main event down there we're going to pop into mum's favorite sweet shop which is Daniel's here or Damos <laughs> it looks a bit like you are huh? that's you after the fall challenge All right, yeah, hey. <laughs> right sweet time get your favorites mum Damos <laughs> Well, here we are, the main attraction. If you're in uh, Tenerife or Los Cristianos, do make sure you come and check out the church square here during this festival time. The lights are absolutely stunning. And you can get some lovely pictures under there in the church square. It's just stunning to look at. And the lights run all the way down the road. Wonderful. What do you think then of our Los Cristianos lights? Let me know in the comments what you think, Dad. Impressive. Improvement on last year, yeah, isn't it? They are nice, very different. Gives the place a real lift. Yeah, really nice calming atmosphere down here. Like it, Mum? Loving it. It's a good t-shirt for you there, in the window. Lisa, calling you a loser. Lisa. <laughs> this is one of Dad's favourite restaurant fortuna you love. The, uh, is it the leg of lamb or shoulder of lamb in here? Either, either. It, it, it's put in the oven at 10 o'clock this morning. Right. And left all day to slow cook. Nice. Falls off the bone. Right so into the kitchen there. Yeah. Not my cup of tea, lamb, but you love it in there. If you're a lamb oh, lover, okay. this is your place to come for tuna. Well, we're just now sat in Popeyes. We couldn't quite get in the fountain next door. It was full, but... Uh, <clears throat> Bit of an anticlimactic football game, no, eh? No, no, not at all. Nil, no. nil. Can I, oh, the match. It's the match. Awful. Very anticlimactic. Uh, I'd I just like to do my all my yesterdays again, just for a little brief moment. Yeah. This little square here, we used to come regularly to the fountain, the Indian. There used to be a French restaurant here. And uh, back in the day when we were on our golf tour with the lads, we'd have our final, well, we'd have the, the, the famous jug of shame was always a jug of beer with four pints for four euros in the fountain bar. And our last night we had a big party in there. It was just our favourite place. Uh, here, here, used to be called the Miner's Retreat. I also noticed as well you've got a uh, another Primus. Yeah, uh, this bar, is it Belgian? I think it, well, Popeye, is it Belgian? I don't know. He's got the uh, Primus on draft, no Zorada. Nice. And only I'm still not keen on that. And it's, uh, it's very nice. Decent. This wall's rubbish. In the proper so, traditional Tenerife pint glass, that is exactly. one of those big, like, tankards. With the family logo on. Right. <laughs> oh, um, I think this was about three euros. Three euros for a pint? Yeah, you know. But look where we are. And it's very sheltered here, so it's, it's warm. Yeah, it is actually. It's quite warm in here. Nice. So, enjoyed a drink there. 
I've got my little bag of sweets on the way and we're gonna head to, back to the car now and head up to Manhattan's and try and catch the last sort of half an hour of the game but by the looks of it, it looks very boring, uh, I must say. So we've had a good night out in town, all the Christmas lights, nice hot dog, yeah. bag of sweets. Nice atmosphere. Little nostalgic drink. Yeah. Right, nice and easy. And we'll let uh, jump in the car and back up the hill now. We're just now in Manhattan's and uh, Dad's met a couple of lovely friends, lovely subscribers. From north of the border. Right. Scottish girls. Who love my expression, can I call you when you are one? You too. Go on, do it. You do it better than he does. Ya too. Ya too. I'll tell you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna adopt that. Gonna catch on in it. Ya too. We're just enjoying the game now. It's three 0 It's come to life a little bit. Enjoying a little drink in Manhattan's bar. Now it's Dad's birthday tomorrow. Free birthday drink. So I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask you all watching as well to drop in the comments. What is your ideal perfect birthday day? Do you have a lie in? Do you have a breakfast in bed? Do you get up and go for a walk? Do you, do you have a day off work? Well, a day off work is a must. But then most people out there are having a day off work. You work at home. Oh, you and that. <laughs> what was your? What would be your idea it tomorrow would be then, to, Jeff? To get up about eleven, half eleven. Right. Someone make me a cup of tea, right. piece of toast, and the paper. Right. Have a little read and a chill. Read me paper and everything. Go for a little stroll. You know. Then nine holes of golf with you. Right. That would work. Come back, shower, cool, freshened up. Yep. Then down to a bar, a little pre what's it drink. And right. then for a, a simple meal, maybe an Indian. Right. Just a simple, not a hot Indian. Just something a simple. simple. Indian. A few beers. And then uh, back home to bed. You know? Okay. Do I want much? Not really. Mum, what would yours be? Here's a question. Mm -hmm. after... maybe. Right, is that after a lie-in or? Little lie-in, about half nine, ten. Right. Um, maybe a little shopping trip. Yeah, yeah, nice massage. Right. And then, what, a meal out somewhere? A meal out, or drinks out, or cinema. Cinema? I think, I think, I think Mum's meal out would be as simple as the hot dog we had tonight. <laughs> Probably. Am I right? Would you have birthday cake or birthday sweets? <laughs> and then. Could I be allowed at the end of mine a couple of one or two small ones, maybe <laughs> little ones? Well, that was it for our little night out in Los Cristianos. We finished off watching the game and headed home, ready for Dad's birthday the following day. I hope you did all enjoy it. Gorgeous Christmas lights down in Los Cristianos at the moment. They really have done them well this year. If you did enjoy the vlog, please do give it a thumbs up. Make sure you do subscribe and I will see you very soon. Stride on.